My name is Craig German, and five months ago I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. So it was uh, October 31st. I was just feeling a little bit different. I didn't really know why at that point, but uh, I have some testicular pain. Jump in the car, I drive myself uh, to the hospital and sitting in the ER and feeling pretty good about it. And she comes in and she says, um, in your ultrasound, we found a malignant tumor in your testicle. And I kind of said, malignant. And she said, cancerous. And then it's just, whew, whoa. Saying the word cancer is it's just it's just a shock. I remember going home that night and uh, email in November and said, "You're not going to believe this. Um, it's it's November 3rd. I'm the captain of this team. We've been doing this for 10 years, and it's me." He's like, "What do you want to do?" He got me uh, in contact with a mentor, and uh, I remember just laying down downstairs in the dark again and called him up and said, "This is what I've got." He said, "This is what you should do. This is what you're hoping for." I felt like I had someone in my corner that had been there. Um, I just this eerie, eerie feeling of calmness just kind of flashed over me, and and I honestly said to him, like, uh, I, I can't wait to be that guy on the other line. Guys, a lot of time we'll talk about those things, right? When uh, you know, when it's a stitched lip or a black eye, like it's kind of like a badge, but when it's something different, like testicular pain, they kind of hide it. Once the, the news kind of got around, um, it was just unbelievable. I was trying to rest, but also trying to kind of captain the team still. And I'm getting all these texts from people saying, go get this. This is not only my battle, but I've got this massive local community team. I've got Movember in my corner. We had been running Movember for nine years, and I had talked to these people, and they had come in, and they had donated, and they really hadn't opened up before. And people started to come up to me and say, I never told you this before, but I actually was diagnosed 10 years ago, you know, or I was diagnosed 20 years ago. At home when Craig got his diagnosis? I had uh, testicular cancer myself, um, two times survivor of it. And it was just uh, these conversations that you never had. And you kind of, you're talking to them and, you know, they, they're telling the, the jokes like usual in the dressing room. And then you're kind of telling your story and you're kind of scanning the room and you see a guy kind of lock on and you're like, he's got a question for me. And these are things that would never happen, right, with, without having this team. Men, a lot of the time, aren't the first ones to talk about themselves or look after themselves. So having, having kind of those conversations that guys really don't have is, is massive. You kind of have this avenue to reach out and now having that information, it's just, uh, it's just so powerful.